Hi guys, it's AB Tech here, subscribe, like, and comment. So, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is next in line to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Current rumors point to a stronger frame and an outside display with a higher refresh rate, plus an under-display camera, S Pen support, and water and dust protection. And Samsung Unpacked is likely the unveiling event, which is happening August 11th, 2021, according to Samsung website and promotional video which they published. Let's take a look at it. Why change a good thing? Good question. This was once a good thing. This was also once a good thing. But at some point, they've all changed. For the better. And once we experience better, we never go back. So here's a better question. Is good, good enough? So, there's a chance the Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G will be $1,999, the same starting price as the Fold 2 5G. Of course, this is a hefty price tag and likely prevents many people from feeling comfortable putting down that much. It's possible, however, that we'll see a healthy price cut given other foldable phones on the market with which Samsung must now compete. According to a recent rumor, we might see a price cut this year of up to 20%, which would list the Fold 3 at around $1,600. Twitter user Tron obtained a leak recently that reveals that the smaller storage option will be listed at $1,673.88, and the bigger one at $1,778.18. And as for the pre-order information, it's still too early to gather any trustworthy information on when you can pre-order the Galaxy Z Fold 3. However, as soon as Samsung announces the phone, we'll know exactly when you can start pre-ordering. In the meantime, you can reserve a Galaxy Z Fold 3 now. This will sign you up for an email notification as soon as pre-ordering opens up. Reserving also lets you set up any trade-ins you plan to do, obtain an extra $100 trading credit, and prepare a payment method so that your pre-order goes through even faster. For the specs and hardware, many rumors surrounding the next Samsung Galaxy Foldable One such rumor indicates this phone will pack a 4,400 mAh battery, which is slightly lower than the Fold 2's 4,500 mAh capacity, potentially allowing for a slimmer phone overall. It's unclear how or if Samsung will make up this capacity, but it could in the form of software optimizations. The phone will purportedly come with dual 120Hz displays. The Fold 2 also supports a 120Hz refresh rate but only on the main folding screen, meaning this year's foldable should look smooth no matter which screen you're using. It looks like the main display will be 7.6, which means it'll be unchanged from the Fold 2. The cover screen, according to this source, will measure in even smaller than the Fold 2, at 5.4, but this hasn't been corroborated, other sources claim an identically sized 6.2. Some other reports mention it will have flat aluminum sides, slimmer bezels than the Fold 2, an IP rating for dust and water protection, likely IPX8, and several cameras, including two front-facing selfie cameras, 10MP and 16MP, and an under-display camera. The phone is also said to support a 25W charger, it'll even come in the box in some regions, and either 15W or 9W wireless charging. As reported by Sam Mobile, leaked details explain the foldable display, bezel, and hinge will make use of a new armor to help prevent scratches. Additionally, Corning Gorilla Glass Victus appears to be the preferred glass type for the outside screen. The same source has said we'll see black and green color options, at the very least, with others likely available, silver is another we've seen in rumors. For reference, the Fold 2 comes in bronze and black, with various hinge color options. 256GB is the smallest internal storage capacity you can get with the Fold 2, and we expect that to remain unchanged for the Fold 3. However, there will likely be a 512GB option in some markets. As for RAM, expect 12GB and 16GB models. The phone will ship with Android 11. To follow in line with most modern smartphones, including the Fold 2, it goes without saying we'll see a 5G version of this phone as well, presumably with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Society. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment the country you are watching from, subscribe, and like. See you in my next video.